Welcome back to another video. The rain is back. It's scanning time. Here's what's coming up today. The, the scanning time can be a nervous, nervous time as well. But look at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. The sheep can run in as fast as they want and they get locked in here with the scanning gate. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would not sound so simple? So welcome back. Back to the great weather here again in Ireland. So we had a great trip away in Tenerife, but back to reality. Um, got in last night and absolutely pissing down here again. So there's, there's actually a storm arriving here today, so while I was away as well, I got a great delivery from Vino in uh, Holland. So this is all the gating and all the handling unit, all the curved railing there, that's going to be working, interlocking into my Tapari system. So we're going to put that together now some stage during the week, but um, I'll show you that later on in the video. But for now, we're going doing the sheep for scanning. Also as well, what landed while I was away, um, is I ordered some rat traps online, so a lot of people advise to get this brand here, they're supposed to be very good. So I got three of them, and obviously you put in the bait there, you open up the, the side door here somewhere, so I'll figure it out there soon when I'm putting out, and we'll put them out there in a few areas where we know where the rats are, and we'll see now if it'll catch a few. Some flood of water in the river now today, a bad day to go at sheep, but the scanning is booked there now with a few weeks, so we have to go ahead with it. A lot of water coming down off the mountain. First job now, we have to move the rams down now to this shed here, as all the yo is going to be brought into the sheep shed above. So, we are feeding away here now for a few days. Here comes Tiny. Tiny is it? We're going off to the mountain all to gather sheep to scan them in the morning. The weather isn't great, but it's after drying up a bit now, so we'll head off. Bad storm yesterday as well, so Charles will say he's coming tomorrow from 7 in the morning. So we'll have to put him in now the night before. And we're also giving him fluke dose and stuff as well, so we'll So we're just here now. We've help here today with us now as well. Colin's helping us get around the get around the hills up. The weather's drying eh? so that's a great start. So the father's going away over there now. He's able to drive right up to the tops there with the quad. So me and Colin here now. We're staying along the bottom here now and hunting these on. And so we'll be hunting them all over to the far side, down into the top pin. And home. So this is the first hill. We're getting one hill now, and we'll dose them all first, dose them up for fluke, and then once they're done, started, we'll go back out, getting up the second hill. So the weather is after taking a turn now. To start starting to rain there now. There's a few showers coming, so hopefully we'll get home for the, for the worst. The rain's after landing and the severe wind, so it's time to plan this kind of bella clava to protect the face. Only job for the mountain on bad days like these. So the father's after stalling here. He's afraid to cross this big massive drain here. Over the years the floods have washed it away, so I must go down now and drive it out for him because he's afraid to cross it. I'll have to I'll have to drive this out though. I'll do the safer so why don't you drive it out? That's a dangerous spot. Jesus Christ, look. Look at that! Oh Jesus Christ! My fucking bastard! There'll be someone killed, do you know? Do you not see that fucking? What a war near that place, do you see? Do you want to come out there, would that? Not in that normal no, 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 mind. Do you not see that, I dog? Look at the fucking. <laughs> he very nearly. So yeah, we, we nearly have this hill, hill gathered here now. There's about 220 sheep here now. My father's pushing them on from the back. And I'm bringing them on this side here now. So, come on Charlie. Charlie, go inside. Go on Charlie. So yeah, we have these now here. My seven column are just going ahead of them uh, so they don't break away up the edges there now. And the father's gonna stay behind them. And yeah, down home then for starting. 
As you can see, there's a bit of everything here. There's Scotch, Suede Ales, Suffolk's, Texels. There's every sort of mix of sheep here. So we'll be starting out. The Scotch won't be get scanned now for another two weeks. So they'll be taken out of them and they'll be put off to a separate hill. The singles will get put away to a separate hill and then the ones in, in lambed twins will also get put away to a different hill. So here they come. They're trying their best to go here now. It's great to have Cullum here to have the extra bit of help. So he'll stay to the side of him. Good dog, Jack. Sit! Jack, go outside. So I have to stay in the front of them because they'll run away up the edges here and be gone. Charlie. Good dog, Charlie. Send Jack up there again. Good dog. So you can see there we've crystal licks, lick buckets scattered throughout the hills as well. We usually put them kind of on the roadways or kind of rocky ground so the place doesn't dig up either. But yeah, going good so far now. So they seem to be in reasonably good enough condition, but I will tell now when we put a hand in them. And any pin, we're kind of older, we'll, we'll be keeping them down closer because they're not, obviously not going to fatten up on the hill now as, uh, as the grass is completely gone now. So you can see here, there's a big long line of sheep all the way down from the mountain, down along this road. I have them here now, aren't I? Shh. On, Charlie. Charlie, talk, talk. <coughs> Good job, Charlie. Talk, Charlie. On, Charlie. We also need to get her the second hill here above the farm. So my father's gone over now with a bag, a feed bag, and he's letting on that there's feed inside and he's shaking it. And you can see here all the sheep are running down the mountain towards him. He's nearly most of the hill getter the way he's going. They're all coming down. It is that time of the year now. We'll, we'll be coming close to feeding the all soon. So, they know what time of the year it is. You can see him over there, the feather, just behind the tree there with the bag up on his back. Let him on to have feed, but there's nothing inside, there's only fresh air. Dosing here today, we have a bit of help here. Colin Kaler here from Kilgarvan is here. Then he's dosing. He'll have to call the Scotch out of him. He's cold enough here today. How about scanning? Scanning on tomorrow. We have to get him ready in the morning for scanning. We have more to bring in. Did you ever scan yourself? No. Where's the time? Where's the time? Okay. So we'll have to feed the sheep in here. See us, I can. It looks fairly fucking crooked. I know, I see you, I do. When you're only doing the bollocks. What's that going to come out? We avoided the worst of the storm. It done a smart bit of damage, but not, nothing severe. This old rain is bad weather for sheep. They'll be going back from now on if they're not fed. It's just about getting dark here now. We've just some all dosed there now and started. So uh, there's a roughly around 500 here. We've uh, we've most of the Scotch yaws. There's there's a few there that we need to get. We missed. Um, they're going to be driven back to the hill. And so yeah, they seem to be in reasonable, good enough condition. There's a couple of them there that are gotten very old, they're right in shock. We'll have to pull them out. And if they're dry, we'll be sending them straight to the mart next week. And if they're in lamb, we'll, uh, we'll obviously have to give them extra feed. But yeah, we'll see now. It'll be interesting to see how we'll get on in the morning. Sheep are all in now. The house, the ones to do tomorrow anyway. And the house is packed. No more feeding. We have no scotch here. They have to be done later. So yeah, ready for the morning now. We'll see now how tomorrow goes. And, yeah, early start. Right, back at it this morning. So the sheep are still here, innit? 
It made some rain last night though. Absolutely bucketed it down. So I can't see there now because it's dark. It's uh, half six in the morning, but Charles will be on there now any minute. Right, so the scanning time can be a nervous nervous time as well because it determines how many lambs you'll have for for the lambing season coming ahead. So since these lambs went out in in October or these yours went out in October, it's like the same as outside now. It was pissing rain there for a good few weeks, so that probably will have a knock-on effect, but sure look. It's the same for other hill flocks around here as well, but you can only deal with the hens you're dealt with now, so if there's a lot of sheep dry or if we have a lot of singles, it is what it is, but one thing we're hoping that is not to have a lot of triplets. Right, we're all ready to go here now. Charles or Shay is here. What do you make? It's a bit early to be coming. Just too early for all that to be getting up. <laughs> <laughs> it is pelting here now. It should be interesting to see how they scan. We left out the ram in October, it was like this, raining every day. There was a few, few dry days there. We love the rain here in Kelly. You enjoy it? We love the rain. Are you a good swimmer? Can you swim? No, I'd, 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 I'd be drowned off eh? Oh, fuck that out there. My lads, they're stubborn. Go on, Charlie. Charlie, the only dog for you. Go on, Charlie. Jesus Christ, that's just... They're not being easy. Are they all dry, Charles? No. That's a head, that's about it, yeah. Okay. See, so look where the next pin turns. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a skill, though. It took a while to get used to this, Oh, eh? God, it did, that's for sure. Good for years. Yeah. How long have you been at this, Charles? It's about my 12th no. season now, season. Fine weather! There was 31 dry last year. How many these now? How many do you reckon will be dry this year? It's most Have an old guess. We're all the same. It's the same kind of weather, bad weather all that time, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I'd say there'll be about 20 dry. What? Well, let's pass. Shh. How's it going so far, Charles? Many empty? Five, aren't you? Five out of how many ships so far? 67. 67. Not too bad, is it? No. It's good. Come on, Charlie. Charlie, want to stick this? Shh. Go on. Shh, 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 shh. Watch that Charlie. gap there. Come on, lads, come on. Shh. No one, you've got to go over them. I got. Bring the gate, bring the gate. I got over them. Bring the second gate, will you? That one there, I ain't touched. Come on. Come up here. Come on. 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 Bring that fucking. Please. Fuck you, Charlie. Watch out, Charlie. 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 Follow. Stop, stop. This is doing some rain outside now. Tell her. Huh? It'll be a bad day for starting the ship. It'll be a bad day if I have to stop them right outside here. It's absolutely pissing rain. The nine dry so far. What do you say? How many earlier would we dry? I don't know why you said the wrong top The wrong top i I'd say I'm, I'm still sticking to 20. So, this is going good enough so far. 1.57, so nearly 1.6. So if we can keep that up, we'll be happy enough. So yeah, the sheep just run in here now. We'll see now what this one is. So, what she have a say? Uh, so, X, so X means she's having one a live lamb, and there's one dead lamb inside in her. So, that that's rare, but that's what she's having now. And this this one here now is this one's empty. So two two bad sheep there now straight away in a row. So no, I'd say she'll have a single. She looks a bit smaller. Twenty again. It's a single now, blue dot. So she's having single. Shh, my lads. Your grand shelter in here anyway, Chad. In the rain. Single. It's fair fast though, as you can see, he's putting him through. So there's a good skill in that, reading the screen there. So you can see here, uh, this one's scanned for a triplet, a single, 
and the ones with no coloured in um, are having a twin and you can see the zeros in they are having no lamp they come out the side door of the scanning trailer here and once they're gone through so it's fairly fairly quick so out they come there now so she's having a single it's absolutely pissing down here now so not a good day a twin there now two seconds in. So you can see there the way it catches the, the sheep there and locks them in. She can't go nowhere. Sheep out. So it's fairly, fairly quick. It's fast work. I don't know. Next job now is to sort, sort out a couple through the singles. We were struggling there for ages to get the sheep in. What you reckon now? They're going in fast. They're flying in now, but it was, I'd say it was dark that time. They weren't inclined to go in. They were confused. Just the daylight is after coming here in, in Barnes too, you know. They're flying in. So, that's it now. It's the last sheep going in here now. You see how they fare out. Single there now. Hopefully the last one won't be drying it. Uh -huh. Do you rub some fluid on from there then? Yeah. That's it. He's on to the next job now. So we're hunting him in here now. The sheep. We're starting to do our dosing in the small little pin here now. Because it's too wet outside to do them outside. Sheep are scanned now. They scan good enough. 1.5. Back a small bit from last year. But as boss being a hill flock, it is good enough. Yeah, we're back a small bit from last year, but we have to deal with it now. And that's the number of lambs we're going to have. And... We're going to give you stock lamb with copper now. So we're going to divide up all the triplets, singles, dry sheep and uh, twins. So they're all going to get stock lamb with copper there now. We give them to that now. We also give it to them uh, a couple of weeks before their lambing as well. We find it very good. So because there's copper in this and they're a bit, they're a bit uh, lacking up here in the hills for copper. So we find it good. We usually do the sheep outside, but it's pouring rain mad. So we can't do them outside. We have to do them inside today. What, what do you make of the scanning? How come you never did scanning? I did, I did a deal. Why should I spend money in scanning? Would I buy a good few bags of meal, a few tons of nuts, and give them to them? No. And we'll see them when they're lambing what they'll have. I don't agree with that, no. Scanning is good because you, you know what the yours having. Say, for example, for adopting on, say for yours having triplets and a, a single is lambing at the same time, you can adopt on a lamb straight away because you know she's having a single, so you'll have two and two. Also, as well, We've had cases there, plenty of years, you come, sheep would have a lamb, and you might come back a half an hour later, and there might be a lamb with a bag around his head. So at least you know when she's having two or three lambs or whatever, you'll know exactly, it's peace of mind. So it's very good that way. And splitting him up as well, when we're feeding him as well, so we, we feed him different as well that way. Drive my make noise now, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, lads. Hey. Come on. Come on, lads. Oi, shh, Charlie. Come on, talk, Charlie. Talk. Drive my there, you. Come back, come back. So we're doing them inside in this small pin here now. Not many can fit in time, but it's better. That'll do. So it's better. It's better than begin wet outside. Twins and all that. You sat right, the old single. singles on the twins here now on the small twin, pin. Twin, twin, twins, twins. They're all twins. Twins. Right. Oh, change the single. Single, single, single. Right, twins again, twins, twins, dry, so the dry ones, look over here, la. Dry, dry and triplets are going, are just going in here separate, so we'll start them after, so two twins there, sort of, two twins, and this is single, so because it's so bad, we're actually not going to do some for the stock line until maybe two days time there. And we're going to bring him in and footbed him because it's a waste of time footbed him in this wet weather. All the stuff will be washed off him, so we'll bring him in there in a few days' time and do it. So, yeah, with the scan results, so we were hoping for a small bit better to be honest, but uh, including that is, is all our hoggets. So, there was probably 170 hoggets in that in this group, or maybe 150, but a lot of the singles are actually hoggets. You can see here young sheep now, but. Our hoggets always tend to have one lamb in the kind of first year. There's a few other sheep in them, but um, if we had to probably scan the other sheep separate to say the, the hoggets, 
they'd probably scan a good bit higher, alright, but um, we just scans everything together on the one, like, but uh, it is what it is now, innit? That's the, that's the way they're scanned, and uh, I hear, I just read in the Farmer's Journal as well this week that scanning numbers this year, uh, the percentage is actually well down, there's a lot more emptier sheep, so that's probably a relief to hear, I suppose, really, like, but so there'd probably be less lambs for selling hopefully this year now and hopefully we might get some there might be better money for the lambs we sell so we'll just have to wait and see they go after the hill now these ones we've called there's some called it is a bad day to be going to the hill these are having couples so bad day going up the hill. these are all twins they're going up to the hill above here now it's just close to the house so they'll be getting fed a bit er earlier so it's a bad day, we're gonna have to go and through a few few changes of clothes already. And we're walking inside, we're only out for small bits of it, but we're oh, absolutely yeah. drawn to the skin again. But um yeah, we're going doing singles there now, starting more of them. We have a couple of hundred done there now, we have a couple of hundred more to do. But yeah. So that's it for another video. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you for the next one. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. <laughs>